Hello Divine Ones, this is Ashley for FD 1111 Ministries. This is the full moon in Cancer prophetic reading happening on January 17th. This is the first full moon of this year and it's the wolf moon. I will go over some of the astrological influences, the Sabian symbol, etc. I do have to let you guys know, if you cannot tell by how the way my voice sounds, that myself and my family, we have been under the weather it was confirmed that we did have the vid and um, we have been recovering from that but I had to do the video because I have to bring the messages through and I overall I feel pretty good I will probably do like maybe a TikTok or a podcast episode dedicated to the spiritual upgrades and the spiritual messages that I received during this time period that has been um, very influential in our spiritual progress. So moving on to the astrological influences. So I do apologize about the scratchiness of my voice and it may go in and out here and there, but this full moon happens at 6 47 PM Eastern standard time. And it's at the 27th degree of cancer. This is the third deacon of Cancer ruled by the moon. So Cancer is already ruled by the moon, but this deacon is ruled by the moon as well. So emotional, um, emotional support, supporting our emotional bodies, our emotional security is a very, is a focal point right now. So the sun is in Capricorn and the moon is in her home sign. And this is us going inward. Although we may feel, because the sun is in Capricorn, and especially if you live in the Western culture, you may feel that it's time to get up and, and go, go after those goals for the new year, tap into the new you. But really nature is calling us to go inwardly. Because this is the winter season, you may feel called to want to hibernate, but also you may feel an internal pull to want to go take action in something. So everybody will feel a little different about this naturally. Another thing with the sun being in Capricorn, productivity and goals will become a focal point. But like how I was saying with the moon being in Cancer and this being the winter season, that instead of just taking a lot of physical action, this is a time to go within first to receive that intuitive guidance go through the process of elimination on your goals is better than just taking a lot of external action. This is also a time to hydrate yourself, to make sure that you are emotionally supported and that you are supporting those that are important to you at this time. On January 14th, Mercury went retrograde in the sign of Aquarius. Retrogrades are a time for reflection, rejuvenation, and with Mercury, this deals with communication, travel, and our thoughts. This is confirmation of first going within. It doesn't necessarily mean that you have to stop traveling. It doesn't mean that you have to stop communicating or even signing contracts if you absolutely have to. It just means to slow down and rethink, review before moving forward. This whole energy is about us really supporting what, what is valuable to us instead of what's valuable to the world. With the Sabian symbol at the 27th degree of Cancer, a furious storm in the residential canyon filled with valuable homes. So Cancer rules over the home. And this whole Sabian symbol really pulling for us to focus on our valuables, focus on what's really valuable to us. Is the home more valuable than what's inside of the home? Are the physical possessions more valuable than the family members, than the love that's inside of the home? So this deacon is ruled by the Four of Cups. And the Four of Cups in my upcoming deck for 2023 is the prophet Jonah sitting under the tree. Now the whole story we know about Jonah and the big belly fish. Some people say, well, 
this is a rebirth after Jonah went through a form of rebirth and in, in going within in the belly of the fish that's just symbolic of going within and taking the time out to rethink about something he was furious he was trying to run away from his calling that God had for him so when he went inside of the belly of the fish he had to rethink about his decisions and about his actions now he didn't really have a change of heart as the story go what goes on but he still did what he was what he was assigned to do and as he watched on the hill in the hot sun after God caused a plant to grow to to offer him shade he still wasn't satisfied look at this God gave him something that he needed, provided something for him, but he wasn't satisfied with what was given to him. Another opportunity. And with that opportunity, this could be someone that I hear grievance, I hear unstable. They may look at other people's circumstance and wonder why somebody may have physical possessions more than what they have, or why this person may have this type of relationship. It's more so of jealousy and envy. But during this time period, instead of looking at the shiny objects, instead of looking at other people's external expressions of happiness, because you don't know if they're really happy or not, this is a call for you to really go back with, to really go within yourself and to think about all of the things that you have to be gr grateful for. Going back to the Sabian symbol, a furious storm in the residential cannon filled with valuable homes. Your home is, is your nest, is where you're supposed to feel safe, loved, and nourished. If that is threatened, what is more important, the physical shell or the external expression of happiness or really truly being happy, really truly being protected and loved? And that's the real message under the surface. Opposite the sun, 27 degrees of Capricorn. And that third deacon is the four of pentacles. It's about, some people could be holding on to physical possessions for a sense of false security. Almost like hoarder. I pause because I, I think of hoarder when I look at this card right now in conjunction with the, the energy. You may, someone or just in general, holding on to physical possessions because they feel that that's a representation of who they are. But that's so far from the truth. You're not your physical possessions. You're not what you have. You're not your title. You're not your degree. You're a soul here to live your soul's purpose. And that's what the divine spirit wants to remind you of. As we live in a masculine dominated world where a lot of physical expressions serve as a representation of who we, who we like to project ourselves to be, this is telling me about the ego. In the ego, the ego serves no real spiritual purpose. The ego is the physical representation of who we portray to be. This is the card of Capricorn, the devil. And the devil represents physical matter. It represents the physical world. Anything in the physical. Now what makes these two prisoner? We have here Lilith and Archangel Samuel. What makes them prisoner is their anger. What makes them prisoner is their idea of happiness through physical means. What does it profit a man to gain the whole world, physical matter, 
physical things, possessions, but to lose their soul. So the soul is your soul's purpose. It's what gives your soul a meaning here in the physical world and in the spiritual realms. This, this is like people selling their soul for the idea of happiness instead of really going after their soul's purpose and being really happy. The offer of spiritual fulfillment doesn't serve the current world. So this devil card represents the current world. <laughs> you brought here Duke. Um, it doesn't serve the physical world, this current physical world. That physical world that's being crumbled. The devil represents the trickster. It will have people, this energy will have people tricked and fooled into catering to the world. But the things in the world crumble. They decay over time. But the things of the spirit, those things last eternal. They are eternal. Internal as far as inwardly and internal as far as lasting continually. This is generational legacy being built. This is generational happiness. And I hear, I hear, I heard a couple things. So fixation, one thing, um, with that fixation, is being fixated on the here and now instead of looking over the longevity of your life and the longevity of what you can leave as a legacy for those that are coming behind you. I keep hearing fix your eyes on, on things eternal. People will serve the here and now and will only be satisfied with the here and now when there's so much more that God has to offer humanity. So the thing about with the, the devil card, this is represents the old structures being crumbled because the new energy is coming in, the new mindset. The devil in this instance represents the old reality, the old mindset that's very ego driven, that's very physical driven, being decayed. I specifically hear, so when I see decay, I see like a iron or a metal structure that rust has set in and that rust is, is eating away at this hard metal set in stone angry <laughs> structure that refuses to move but guess what the natural process within the world is taking place that's what that rust represents to crumble this old structure so decisions have to be made either you're going to serve your spiritual purpose or either you're gonna to cater to this old reality that's falling down. And when that old reality crumbles, you're gonna be on the losing side for those that choose not to serve their higher purpose, their sole purpose. And that's that continua continuization of that split within the collective that I keep, I've been feeling for years. Everything happens in a cyclical nature. So eventually, this energy, you know, very hard driven or structured, like this type of energy will come back around again when it's time for the ages to shift. When the age of Aquarius shifts into another age, then that same type of energy will come up because everything happens in cycles. We may not physically see the cycles or our our parents, our grandparents, great grandparents, etc., because these cycles takes millennium. They take they take so long to play out. We just happen to be incarnated in this time period where we're we're changing the ages, where the structures are changing. So we're going from water into air, and then eventually will be earth, and then eventually will be fire. And all of that will just play out, but it just takes it takes so long for it to play out.
for those cycles. So I have the girls here, they're gonna pick one card. This is for my Soul Sisters butterfly deck. So Hassani, you wanna pick a, the first card? Yeah. Like this one. All right, just hand it to me. Let me see. <laughs> Union, it's time to fly home to your one true love. You both need to work together to bring about the sacred union. Um, I like that one, Mommy, it's so good. So what do you think about this card? I love it. I mean, what do you feel from this card? I feel like a butterfly. A butterfly? What does a butterfly represent? Uh, prettiness. Prettiness? Okay. All right, now you step over and let, let Vashti. Let's give a special direct. Okay, let's see here. Partnership. It's time to dance through life with your divine partner. Two are better than one. Man was created to man was not created to be alone. You see there's two butterflies. Yeah. And two best friends like me and Sonny. Yeah, yeah they're best friends. Th and then those two. Yeah, they're two and two. Oh, that's, that's cool. cool. And those two are the same. Look, so there's about a divine partnership. Is coming together so this could be a partnership as far as twin flames so kingdom spouses soulmates or and or it could be partnerships coming together as far as in a spiritual manner <coughs> excuse me as far as in a spiritual manner business partnerships any type of co collective connection that comes to help the collective awaken and ascend so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget, Bye. don't forget to check out the blog post. I was putting the cards away, and at the very bottom of the deck, I have here love. Be love, and you will attract true love. Heart chakra healing is needed to open to receive love and give unconditional love without expectations. So that is the key. And then we have shadow work here. Definitely do shadow work. It's time to face your shadow self so you can slay your demons. Okay, so we have here the devil card and demons. So I have explained what demons are before. But anyway, these are lower level energies and entities that help that may feed on your soul and, and try to keep you away from your soul purpose. They're just distractions. They're just like weights that help to build your spiritual muscle. So it's not to give them any kudos or any additional energy. All of that is just an obstacle to make you better, okay? So with this love and partnerships and union, you have to first tap into your divine love with, within yourself for yourself before you can understand how to connect and really love and trust and be open with another person. A lot of people think that unconditional love and love is like this, with the four of pentacles, you're holding on uh, to, to, you're just holding on. You're holding on to things that you think are valuable, but they're really just projections from a mass understanding of false love. And with the Four of Cups, that's like being unsatisfied with what another may give to you as an offering of love. So that's why it's important for you to figure out what love really looks like for you personally, what you will accept and what you won't accept, how the way you want to feel in that connection. That could be a partnership of any form. That could be family members, a romantic love interest. <coughs> Excuse me. That could be partnerships as far as business or anything you have to make sure that you are clear and that you set those boundaries and once you set those boundaries energetically your partner whoever it may be soul family can feel that those boundaries and intuitively they would not want to step over over those because they match your energy all right if you would like to expand your knowledge base surrounding mystic arts of the Bible, specifically biblical rituals, herbs, oils, how to decode and understand the biblical text, 
with powerful healing candles, bath soaks, holy water, blessed oils, all sourced directly from the Bible. There's also decorative printable art, including our 12-month Zodiac Angel wall calendar that makes a great resource for your studies and planning for your rituals. And currently, at the time of this recording, we offer personal spirit-led prophetic readings. You can find the link to our five-star shop listed down below.